I've been around the country looking at the state of renewable energy sources, and I've heard a lot of reasons why we shouldn't be using them. They're not reliable, or they're too expensive, or even that climate change isn't happening, so why bother? But today, I'm meeting with Jigger Shaw. He's been a pioneer in solar energy, and he says renewables are viable, and the time for them is now. I mean, the company I started is a company called Sun Edison, where we basically pioneered the no money down uh, concept behind solar. And it's led to huge growth in the solar industry. So what about the claims that, you know, okay, so there's wind in Kansas, but that's so unreliable. We don't know when the wind is going to blow. Solar energy isn't reliable. Is it risky for the average American to be completely powered by green energy? Is there a risk for them? Well, there's risk not doing it. I mean, think about if you lived in Long Island, the only people who still had power after Hurricane Sandy were the people who were powered by solar with battery backup or on a microgrid. So if you were on the traditional utility, you didn't have power for nine days. Think about it, if you work from home or you have a real need because of health issues to have power at home, you can't live without solar and a battery backup system. So what about the argument that these renewable energy standards are actually costing consumers more money, that they're the ones bearing the brunt of what it costs? So all the laws actually have safeguards in there. So it says that if this law raises electricity rates more than 2%, then you no longer have to comply with this law. The facts of the ground are is that renewable energy has not raised electricity rates by more than 2%. So what about the future of renewable energy is exciting to you? What do you imagine happening in the next 10 years of renewable energy? There are literally 1.6 billion people around the world who don't have access to electricity. There are 500 million people in the world who have mobile phones that have no place to charge them at home. All of these people now have a way to charge them because of solar lanterns. They have a way to charge them because of solar home systems on their roofs. And so what renewable energy really is, is represents the democratization of energy. And on top of that, we are going to start rebuilding the middle class, you know, blue collar work in this country. These are craftsmen who we need to actually build this infrastructure. We've already done it in computers. We've done it in the internet. We've done it in mobile phones. And it's now time for us to do it in electricity.